everyone. Welcome back. Thank you for tuning in. Days are finally nice, right? Sun is finally shining. Took forever. I hope you're all doing well and I hope whatever you're working on is doing well. And whatever that work is, maybe you're doing the work for God. And that's what I want to talk about today. How we are God's working hands. And that's something a lot of us forget about. A lot of us forget our part in this world, what God needs us to do in taking care of each other, providing for each other, and helping us grow. Now, a lot of people like to point fingers. A lot of people like to complain. But they're all talk and no action. You know, they say, you know, why does anyone do anything about the poor? But they don't do anything themselves. And a lot of people like to blame God. Well, why doesn't God do anything about the poor? Why isn't God taking care of the poor? And God's there probably facepalming himself like I did. I created you. You know, Jesus Christ said we are always going to have the poor. And it is part of our duty, our mission, to take care of them, to help them with whatever they need, food, clothing, um, water, shelter. That's part of our job. And when you do God's work, when you do God's will, his light shines through the world and people will see God. And God is doing something. He is working through you to do his work, his will. You know, Jesus Christ said when he's separating, you know, the lambs and the goats and or the sheep and people on his left and people on his right, people <clears throat> on his left who aren't getting into heaven, they say, you know, well, Lord, when did we see you hungry? When did we see you thirsty? When did we see you, you know, without any clothes? And Jesus Christ said, you know, all these times you have done for these people, you do for me. So when you take care of the poor, you're helping Jesus Christ. When you clothe the naked, you are helping Jesus Christ. When you feed the hungry, you are helping Jesus Christ. When you help your neighbor in need, you are taking care of Jesus Christ. You are doing God's work. You are being God's hands. And, and we forget that a lot of the time because we, we live in a world that is so focused on negativity, is so focused on pointing fingers, but doesn't want to do anything about it. You know, we just, we complain, we complain, we complain. How is it possible that people are in these situations? How do they get into these situations? But we don't take any action, you know? And there's really only a few people in the world who do take action. Think of the, the St. Vincent de Paul um, Society. They, they, you know, they do a lot for the poor. There is, I mean, the, the church obviously does a whole bunch. Uh, people don't like to believe that for some reason. Um, but the church is probably the most charitable organization there is in, in taking care of those who are sick, who are poor, who are hungry. So if you don't know what to do, you can always go to your church and, and figure out how you can help in, in some way. Or if you are incapable of performing an action to help, you can always give money and give it to those who know what to do with it, who know what to buy for, like, um, what's that word, uh, food for the poor. You know, they, they donate, obviously take care of those in the poorest of countries like Haiti. Uh, always, but always check an organization before you donate. So you'd be surprised at how much money they actually give themselves and don't actually give to the charity that, you know, they say they're supporting and giving to. Um, so please do your research. <laughs> before doing any of that, before giving any money. But your, your church can always help and, and direct which money to give to, or you can give money to your church, and they can help distribute that money to help those in need, to get what those in need need, whether it be clues, clues, <laughs> clothes, food, or, or whatever it may be. You know, it's, it's funny how just we love to blame God for not doing anything, and God's just like, shaking his head. You know, you know, he told us to be fruitful, to multiply, to take care of each other. Jesus Christ told us to love one another and take care of each other. You know, he has he has the parable of the Good Samaritan, which Samaritans 
were completely disliked by the Jews. But it was the Samaritan person who saw the person injured on the street and took care of them and, and did the right thing, was doing God's work. You know, you, if we all just paused, let God in our lives and stay open to his will and do his will, the world would change instantaneously. Instantaneously. You know, it would be the world everyone wants. But we just, we love to complicate things. We love to point fingers. We love to place bang. We love, we love to call people out, but have a hard time looking at ourselves. You know, there's, just look at a lot of the social movements now, like Black Lives Matter. You know, you, you can see a lot of people, oh yeah, I support Black Lives Matter, but do absolutely nothing for black people. Like, what, what, are you, what are you doing? You're not doing anything. <laughs> like, and, and that's the world we live in. You know, we complain. Oh, all these people are sick. Why don't we have, you know, the right medicines and all that stuff? But then don't do anything. And sometimes when you try to do something, people get mad at you. You know, like, oh, you think you're better than me? You think you're a better person than me? It's... You can't win. <laughs> but that's part of being a Christian sometimes, too. People are going to attack you for doing God's will. And, and God's will is not accepted in this world. Because it's, it's a hard truth, which people can, cannot accept. But in order to spread the good, spread God's will, to be part of the world that we want to live in, you know, that happy-go-lucky everything is awesome, everything's fine. We have to do God's will. We have to be God's working hands. You know, God isn't a genie. People want God to be a genie, to just wave his wand and phew, it's all fixed and good. That's not how God works. God created you for a purpose in this world. And it's up to you to find what that purpose is by staying open to him. And we can do so much work for God the work that people want to see in the world. See people who are sick get better. See people who are hungry get fed. See the poor have better living situations. We can all do that. You know, a lot of these things are up to us. You know, and, and, and if you're baptized in the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, it's already living inside of you to do this work, to be his working hands to move mountains. The amount of miracles that we can perform is amazing. But we don't notice it. Because of all the distraction, of all the negativity, of the laziness, we don't take action. God wants you to take action. Even in prayer, God wants you to take action. So try. And it can be a, a very simple thing, you know? There's pay for someone's cup of coffee. That can be a work of God. You see the dishes, they're not clean, do the dishes. That can be a work of God. It's simple. It really is. But we complicate it. Thus is our life. <laughs> But the world could change. We just have to be willing to do the work. And we're not. We rather talk, blame, complain, think that we are good people, uh, but don't do the actions. You know, as I've said, and as you should know, good work without faith is useless. Faith without good work is useless. You need to have faith and you need to do good works. And what are those good works? God's working hands, God's power to change things. Help the poor, cure the sick, feed the hungry. We can all do that. That's up to us, that's not up to God. God loves those people who are suffering beyond anything you can imagine. God already has a place in heaven for those people. 
Jesus already has a place prepared for those people. God has not abandoned them. God has not forgotten them. He wants you to see them, to take care of them, to not forget them. We forget them. We can do good works. We can do God's works. We can help God do what we want instead of being like, hey, God, fold your arms, blink your eyes, and make this happen. It's up to us. And if you don't know what to do, if you're maybe you're physically incapable of doing something, you can always donate money. It's always a huge help. So this was a good video because I realize I haven't done much work myself. <laughs> oh, that's bad of me. Okay. Well, thank you for that little uh, self-reflection there. Really needed it. We all do, right? So let's be there for each other. Let's do God's work. Let's be his working hands. <laughs> thank you all. Take care, and I'll see you all next time. Bye, everyone.